Hello. Hello, สวัสดีค่ะ No, no. Same yesterday. <laughs> Let, let's try again. Hello. Hello, สวัสดีค่ะ No, 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 no. Let's let's keep going until What we different? get. What different? It's the. It's there's no energy in the. This, even if someone is, even when you go to the temple and someone goes like this, they they do it with some energy. You know, I've seen Japanom do it, and he has like, you know, he doesn't. He's not like this. He did that before he fight. Right, but there's like you know there's some there's some energy there. So let's try again. Ready? He had a lot of muscle. <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> you should have gone to the gym <laughs> before the job. Okay, ready? One more time. Hello. Hello, Sadika. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Questions for us <clears throat> for this exciting. I Saturday? adore you, and I like you. Mm -hmm. You the same. Are different. Are the same. Are the same. Um, adore. I never hear, heard. I adore you. Well, you're learning English. Probably you didn't understand <laughs> before. So you you're you're learning new words. So you hear new things before. Probably you know five years ago you heard someone say adore and you thought they like a door. Right. So now, because your listening is better, you start to hear things like conjunctions and things like that, and that's good. You hear the difference. Adore is almost love, up, up near love. Liking something is like Sipti likes goldfish, but <laughs> adoring something is like an idol. Like something that you love. More like, but not love. Almost love, but but not quite loving something, because adore, adore can be uh, like um, a movie star, or a movie, or or something that you own. You could adore your your sword. Your pet. You don't really. People do say I love my sword, but it's not real. They're just joking. But you could adore it. You could adore something. Usually, adoring is cute. Uh, it's like a baby, or cat. Yes, definitely something pretty. Uh, a girl. Um, it's not as common for for girls to say it about a guy. They can. There's nothing wrong, but. Usually they don't say that they adore someone who's like a barbarian or something. Adoring something is usually small and uh, something that you that you really want to protect and take care of. Um, if you just say I like my cat and it gets run over by a car, you say oh well. But if you if you really really adored that cat. Then it would be hard for you to let it go. So, like and adore are not the same. A better question is, what's the difference between love and adore? That's much harder. It's very close to to loving something, but adoring something is not because you think it's beautiful. So, loving something can mean that you. That you want to kiss them or something, not always, but adoring something is more of wanting to protect it and take care of it and be near it. Um, but loving something is is stronger than adore, and it is more about. Uh, it's more common to say I love something. When you adore something, you might adore your a movie. You might adore uh, your favorite singer. You might adore your a book. You might adore a cat. But you would love your family, your husband, your wife, your child. You can also adore them, but it's it's not exactly the same. 
uh, people would say, I adore my, uh, my knife collection. I love my family. Like that. So, why don't you give it a try? Because they're very close and it's not easy to separate them. So, a couple examples with goldfish. We have our goldfish ready uh, mm. in case Sipti uh, yawns. We'll also give Sipti a goldfish if she yawns yawn. during the class. Yawn. Yeah, yawn. That is One bad go- <laughs> than Worse than the... We have, we'll have a goldfish for yawns. Uh, if I da, do, I, da I, and I don't S open my mouth. Like, mm. No, I'll, if I see the yawn, then I'll add a goldfish to the the, the cup. I will okay. let it out for my nod. <laughs> no, no, we'll, we'll see it. Everyone will be able to see it on the show. Okay, so then let's try an example. If you don't understand, uh, that's Me why too. Sipti's here, to explain the difference between love and adore. I... My mom... Adore, adores her chickens. Yes, but um, yeah, that's fine. But okay, then what's the difference though? If you if your mom said if you said my mom adores me, or my mom loves me. My mom loves. No, no. What do you think the difference would be? That's very important. If someone came to you and they said. Sipti, your mom adores you, or your mom loves you. What do you think the difference would be? My mom will say, my mom loves me because a dog mm, can... No, no, it's, it's not about one being right or wrong. It's just about what the difference is. A dog, not love. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Adore. that's true. My mom won... Um, one love me more than her life. Uh, I don't know what it means by life. But w- what I imagine is that when someone loves you, especially a family member, they're not, they're not going to change their mind about anything. They, they love you. They always love you, but they're not going to feel something. They're not going to have passion for you. They just, they just love you. It's constant, except when you do something wrong. You break uh, their but favorite. But someone can stop loving. Yeah, but, that's, but don't make our example more that's difficult. difficult. But when, if you said your mom adores you, that means she is trying to protect you. She's trying to keep you in some type of case so you can't get hurt. Adoring something is like, is, is like this, like making sure it doesn't get damaged. When you adore something, it's like, like this. But loving something doesn't need to be that way. You can love something by just being yourself. It's a feeling that you have. But we, sh- we probably can see when someone is adoring something. It's like they're, they're like this, like, <gasps> give it to me, that's mine. <laughs> right? They're taking care of it and they're being very gentle with it. They're trying to protect it. But they're now, worried about yeah. that. They're worrying about, it's like a princess. But if love you can let, you can, you can be happy even you didn't stay with even if even if you didn't stay with you don't you don't stay with it, them them um i don't yeah that's true but i don't think it's about staying near anything it's just that love um in english is is two things there's love of of a person, like a romance, and then there's love like 
family. Like a dog or your family or something that you own. But adoring something is is trying to is trying to protect it because it's because it's fragile. It's it's weak. And you have to take care of like it. Older things. Mm, that's that yeah, that's fragile. Your yeah. rings or your but ad but adoring something because it's old is is not that common. When I imagine someone adoring something, it's it's very small, it's very cute, and it's it's easy to break, and you Eggs. have to you have to take care of it uh, very carefully. So if someone said to me, John, your your family adores you, that would tell me that they are scared that I'm going to get hurt. You baby. You are baby. Uh no, probably they think that I'm in danger or something, that I'm not oh, taking care of myself. No, that would be worried about you. If someone's sick, if someone is is going to get hurt for sure, then they would say they're worried about you. But if I was maybe rude or mean and I wasn't being kind and someone said to me, your family adores you, then I would imagine that they think that I'm not being a good person. I'm not taking care of myself and I'm not doing the right things. You can't control yourself. Yes, but that it's, it's not related to a door. That's just another problem that I have. If your family says they love you, that means that probably I don't believe it. So if someone came to me and said, John, your family loves you, then that would tell me that they, th they think that I thought that they didn't love me. So I would say something like, you, no one loves me. So I'm going to go to another country. Someone would say, your family loves you. They're not going to say your family adores you. They're going to say, your family does love you. But if they said to me, your family adores you, then I feel like I'm uh, weak. Not weak, but, but not, not able to take care of myself. Not tough. 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 And that uh, they want to protect me from bad things. Like bro brother, adult, sister. It it doesn't matter what you say you adore. You can say I adore the goldfish. So it doesn't matter who is adoring what. It only matters what the f what the sense is of adore and love, what, what the difference is. And I'm trying to separate them for you. Loving is, is a constant thing and adoring something is, is trying to protect it in, in the examples that I'm imagining. Maybe even more than love, perhaps. Some people might say that you love something and then you adore something Maybe it's maybe some people would say it's more than love. Now that I'm imagining it, it could be more. I thought it was a little bit less at first, but now that I've been giving some examples, it could be even more than loving. Yeah. You been on person. No on people. Uh, in some examples, yeah. So, do you do you ad do you love that song? I adore it. In that case, it would it would show me that it's more. So, similar to love, maybe more, and also protecting. Okay, so another example from Sipti. Uh... Something to show us the the separation. I love my dog, no, my cat, and I will adore it forever. 
Yes, but you can say anything. You can say, I love my cat and I'll, I will love it forever. I adore my cat and I will adore it forever. There's no, there's no way to feel the difference there. Show us something different. Tell us some things that you adore and some things that you love. And I'll tell you if they sound correct. I... I love my mom and I adore. 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 Not a door, but adore. Adore. Not a door. That's a door. Adore. adore. Faster. Adore. 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 Not drawer. Drawer is this one in the. Adore. 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 But faster. Adore. Adore. Mm. We'll, we'll give 50%. My house. It's big. So you can say that, but I, I'm not imagining a house that's big to be something you adore. My bag. Hmm? My bag. Your bag? Like a, like a 7-Eleven bag? <laughs> what kind of bag? Bag. Normal. You mean like a purse? For money? I'm not changing. Okay, let's try again. I will adore my my rat. My pet rat. Probably not the rats in Mama Oshabu, right? Mm. Okay, a pet rat, you could adore a pet rat. Yeah, it's small. Some people might think it's cute. Uh, you, you really love it, you wanna take care of it. That makes sense to me. Yeah, a rat would be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, another one. Another great example. Adore, adore, adore one. I? I adore, adore my trees. Tree? Trees? Mm, maybe because the trees might be, they might need to be taken care of. But the size is, to, is very big. So adoring a tree Ah, it's, it's too big, I think. The size seems to be important to me. What uh, size? Something small, I'm imagining, when I adore something. I, I ad adore my toys. Yes, my childhood toys. That might be okay. Um, it's also very common to adore a song, uh, a celebrity, a movie star. Um, something, something like that. You really, really, really love them and you, you are like imagining they're, they're some type of angel. Movie stars mean everything about like t-shirts or CD tape. T-shirts? Have movie star on the t-shirt. I adore the t-shirt? No, no, I, I mean the person. You can say, I adore him. Means you love him. Yeah, well, it's even like. more than that in that case. If you say, I adore that movie star, that means you, you love them so much that you think about them all the time and you want to... Like, I adore when you say, oh, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But because he's kind of... Big. Tough. <laughs> uh, it's... Not it's a little say. bit strange, but it's not, it's okay, because they're a movie star, and that's fine. But it's a little bit strange, because he's kind of tough. Probably he doesn't want to be adored. You know, if, if someone's really strong, and you say, and someone says, I adore you, they might feel like they're weak a little bit. So love would be better. Okay, one goldfish. 
<laughs> Which, there's a Daisy on. Okay, anyway, so if you adore uh, Sifty, uh, make sure to add her on Instagram. I'm big. <laughs> Sifty's fat. <laughs> you can't adore her. Uh, girls, it's common to say uh, someone adores uh, girls, especially young, uh, a little, a young kid. You would say, oh, she's adorable. Adorable means. Adorable you means. You want to adore her. Mm, you should. Y yeah, that means she she has the the shape or the the type for you to adore. Yeah, adorable. You can adore them. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, any other questions about that? No. So then let's get, let's get back to Sipti's new favorite game. Controversial huh? topics. Controversial to discussion talk. topics. I've On the first it. example, Sipti did not know controversial. On the second, <laughs> do you remember what controversial means? No. Hard. Funny. Not hard. Those are the interview questions. Remember know. we asked you, should we use animals in medical research? Remember? Oh, I should yeah. say the middle. No. It means that some people believe this and some people believe Con this. Controversial. Controversial. It means some people believe one side, other people believe the other side, and sometimes people will get angry at you if you are on one side. People, at, in P people who are part of PETA. Uh-oh, one, one goldfish? <laughs> I think you can see him. <laughs> okay. uh, we have an organization called PETA. People for the ethical treatment of animals. And they don't like you to eat animals or to wear fur or anything bad to animals. And if you say that you're going to use animals in medical research, they're going to hate you. They're going to attack you. They may try to fight you. So these are controversial topics because uh, your opinion uh, could make other people angry. So don't get angry at Sipti. Uh, because this is, this is this is just a game uh, to teach you have, what to do. I have to do when you get a difficult question. People can <sighs> angry at you. Right? Can be angry. Yeah, or get angry at you. At mm -hmm. you. Exactly. Okay. Next question. The death penalty is acceptable. In some cases. Do you know what the death penalty is? No. That's when the government thinks you're a criminal and they kill you. In some countries, like the United States, it is still legal for the government to kill a criminal. Usually it's not for something bad, something simple. Like if you steal a goldfish from John Usually the, the coven doesn't kill <laughs> I you. Wondered. It needs to be uh, like you're a murderer. If you're Hannibal Lecter, usually the idea is for countries that have the death penalty, the idea is we're killing Hannibal Lecters. And that makes sense, right? Getting rid of Hannibal Lecters. The problem is uh, sometimes they find out that actually he didn't or she didn't cause any problems and it was a trick or it was a problem. Oops, sorry, we killed someone. So. Some countries, like the United States, still have the death penalty and they think that it's good because we're getting rid of Hannibal Lecter's. They can't escape jail and run away. Remember at the end he escaped the jail, right? So the idea is if you, if you kill them, Person. then they can't run away. So it's safer for society. On the other side, people say you don't want to kill people because then uh, you're a murderer. So then what's the difference? between you and the murderer, okay? So, Sipti's opinion. Should, I don't know if Thailand has the death penalty or not, I'm, I'm not sure, but should Thailand have the death penalty? Yes or no? What do you think? This is very hard. I think every Christian will. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Most of them are, are, are difficult. Yeah. Should Thailand have the death penalty? What do you think? The death penalty or not? Yeah. Mm. 
Uh oh. I, I should say no ice. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. You gotta make a choice. <laughs> But how can, how can I make a choice? Because I could, I shouldn't, I should say no or yes. Yeah, you have to choose one. Mm -hmm. uh, most people might, not most people, but some people will try to not answer. But we need you to answer for our game because uh, you have to learn to be able to make an argument for your opinion. The point of this is to learn about difficult questions and also to justify, to prove that your opinion is right. And that's hard. This means government believes you are criminal and you did something already, right? Yes. And that is bad. They believe, they hope that they didn't make a mistake. But they yes. Kill other people? Yeah, you, murderers, Hannibal Lecters, things like that, terrorists. Mm, I think, I think. The answer is really quick this time. <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay. I, I think we should, we should, I don't know, we should check. His, his, it's definitely a guy. Document. Document. For sure. Their passport, you open it up and it says I, murder. I mean, how much, how much bad thing he did. So you're, definitely it's a guy, right? Criminals are guys. <laughs> Then, <laughs> I, okay. they. No, I'm just joking. Usually they are guys. Like if he, if that, that person killed people. Mm -hmm. Like okay, but don't don't worry so much about uh, proving that they did or not. <laughs> the question is just: Oh no! Is the death penalty acceptable in your opinion, or is it too mean? Is it too cruel? <laughs> Difficult questions, right? I think we should kill more people. <laughs> them, <laughs> okay. Because some people is are dangerous for to a to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And if we have to kill one person to protect a lot of people, we should do it. Throw them in the pit. <laughs> okay, we should. good. Yeah, that's fine, exactly. That's a, that makes sense. It's what I would expect someone to say uh, from that opinion. It's clear. It took a long time to, <laughs> st <laughs> to start, but the, the answer was fine. Uh, yeah, that, that's yeah. what I would expect someone to say. That's good. Okay, next one. Uh, should military service be mandatory? So that means, should the government be able to force you to fight mm, like in, <laughs> in a war? So this, this is called a draft. Mm. Uh, they, they say, okay, you have to fight. Like in Korean, Thailand, like when you... When you are, when you are third, eighteen years old, mm -hmm. you have to go to. Well, uh, it depends on the country, but usually, those types of military requirements are not really war. So, mm. in many countries, y mo young boys have to go to the military for. A couple weeks, or sometimes a year or But two years. But in America, it's real war, right? And you, and usually people want to want want to be right. No, no. the The question is about should the government be able to force you to fight? So, for example, 
uh, if Thailand decided to fight against the United States, <laughs> do you think the government should be able to say, "Okay, Sipti, here's a gun. You gotta fight. Mm. Find that John guy. Get him first, <laughs> mm. <I laughs> and steal his camera." If I had. No, 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 no. That's that's the next question. That's <laughs> talking about suicide. That is that's <laughs> another question. The question, to, this question is, should the government f be able to force you to fight? If yes or time no. to yeah have the war. Yes. I think I think if if the government. Can't control. Not quiet though. Control you. Can't. Well, can't. Okay. Like, if the government let people, let people to. Not to. Let people decide by themselves. Probably no one go. Well, then maybe the war doesn't need to be fought. Probably. If no one wants to fight, then maybe it doesn't need to be fought. We people will lose. Their land. Then they, then they, then they'll change their mind, <laughs> right? Then they'll start fighting. Anyway, keep so going. Uh, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> keep going. I think. I think. Yes or no? I think yes. Okay. If time to. If. If the time. If it's. If it's time to fight. I think government has the, the government should. Have power to the power, the power to control their people. Their people, they own them. People, okay. people, people in in that their country. country. So, what? For example, let's say you come from, you were born in Laos, mm -hmm. and you come to Thailand, mm -hmm. and then Thailand and Laos. You were born. You were born there, but now you're a Thai citizen, mm. and the government says, "Okay, we're going to fight Lao," and they say, "You have to fight your family there." That's okay. They can force you to say, "Listen, now you're Thai. You have to fight with us." No, because I'm Lao. No, well, you you changed. You you married someone in Thailand. And now you are a but Thai citizen. But we can change what we are, right? Like, I'm. Um, well, you can't change to a bird. No, I you're mean, a person. I mean, I born in Lao. I mm. can change. A, I don't know what you say. We have s a n s h a t and Shia s h a t Nationality. And another one, like you born with that, you can change. Even you go to America ten years. Oh, uh, your. Your race. Yeah, I mean we can change race, and mm -hmm. I think the government can. The government. The. Okay, well, but no, let's no, no, let's no. give you a goldfish. <laughs> okay. The government will see you are Lao, and prob probably the government will put would, you in prison. <laughs> will send you back. Okay, mm -hmm. but that's not my question. My question is just. What if the people who you're fighting were your family or your your race before? What if they were that was your home? If you have to, if I have to protect my land and my family. So let me give you an example because this happens in America because we don't have a race of people; we're just immigrants. So let's say you go to America mm -hmm. and you become an American citizen. Mm -hmm. You stay that you marry someone. And then you stay there for 10 years. You become American citizen, mm -hmm. and then America says we're going to invade Thailand. What are you going to do? The government says you have to fight against Thai people. What are you going to do? Why they can't? Because I'm I'm Thai people. No, you you became an American citizen. I'm giving you an example, or maybe you were born in America, but your family was from Thailand. Your mom and your dad went to America, which is very common. They had you. But you're an American citizen, and then the government says you need to fight against Thai people. What would you do? I will let them um, catch me. Yeah. Would you fight or not? 
I won't. You won't. But most so you people in that land should fight. Should should help government to fight. But not you. Because I'm not born there, and I. You were born there. In my example, I'm I'm changing my game. <laughs> okay, but I'm saying. Even I born there, but. Even. Even if. But. I. I. I born. I was. I was born there. I won't fight with all the people in my family in Thai. Thailand. Thailand. Okay, but then you're then you would be arrested and you could be imprisoned or you could be killed mm -hmm. because we have the death penalty. I will. So that's okay. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that the government should be able to force people to fight mm -hmm. and if they don't fight, then that's okay, kill them. Mm -hmm. Because that just mm, not much people. Not not a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> not many people. <laughs> <laughs> not many people. Okay, anyway. So Sipti says, uh, that's okay. Great. Next question. Suicide. It's committing... Q, Q, yes. I'm sorry. Committing suicide should be legal. So if you want to jump off a bridge, if you want to shoot yourself, that's okay. Oh, no. Right, right now it's not. So if you try to jump off a bridge and they, if if you if you succeed, <laughs> then there's, not, there's nothing they can do. But if they catch you, <laughs> then you can be arrested. Arrested in jail. Yeah, or tied up. Sometimes mm -hmm. people try to kill themselves. They they have to, you know, put something in their mouth or whatever mm -hmm. to prevent them from killing themselves. What do you think? If we see someone on a bridge, we just say, "Come on, jump," or what? Do we try to stop them or let them do what they want? Stop them. And should we be able to arrest them? Yeah. Put them in jail if they try? Yeah. Okay. Because, because? Because I think most people who want, who want, or wants, who want, who want to kill themselves, 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 they didn't think too much. They. They don't think too much they enough. Don't, they don't think enough. They don't think enough because they don't think enough about the action, or they they they're they not don't, smart. They don't think enough about their problems. Okay. Their life. Probably, they don't value their life. I mean, probably they have a lot of problems, and then. Make they it, it that make me them make makes them depressed depressed okay and want to kill themselves themselves I think if they have more time or stay alone to have time to think like again again and again probably they won't kill they they okay. won't kill themselves they wouldn't try yeah exactly uh, that is the opinion of the government and that's that makes sense so following the laws that are currently uh, enacted makes sense uh, it's hard to argue against them so I would agree with you uh, if you're in a situation like this and you have to argue one side, choosing the, the side that, that is already a law makes sense. Uh, it's hard to argue against that. That's good. Okay, next one. Um, celebrities are too rich. We should take their money. <laughs> what do you think? So you see, you walk around town, right? You barely have money to eat. Mm -hmm. You barely have money to pay for a red car mm -hmm. to get to the restaurant to buy rice. But you see a celebrity wearing diamonds that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Should we take their money? Celebrities? Why well, you feel like you want rich. to do that? Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> convince you one one way or the other 
I think. Because sometimes when people are asking you questions, they ask you a question, but they don't really ask you a question. They they push you to one side. They say, you like that? Right? So I'm trying to show you. Uh, some people will try to push you one way or the other. Can you use the to their side? Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think the celebrities Right? Yeah. They are the same as. As? As us. Okay. But the different. They have more money. The different. The different. The different. The. The different. Just. Is. Is their work and our work. Okay. Their work. Our work? What's our work? I mean, the different... Simply doesn't come to the show. Work. Okay. It's work. It's okay. work. Because okay. the celebrity, celebrity is a movie, is it? Just celebrities is Celebrity. Okay. Celebrity. Tease. Tease. Like, like Kendall, do you know? Like that? Sure. Mm. They, they work hard to on their work not on in their work with their work at at their work and mm -hmm. the good the the okay the best thing, thing is the goldfish they have or s most of them have is they born in they they are they were they were born in which family or popular family? Not Families. popular. Very busy. Rich families. Family. Rich families. Okay. That's why they became to be. N not to be. That's why they became. They became. To, to or not became. Celebrities. 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 So you're saying Celebrity. that no one can become a celebrity who doesn't have a parent who's a celebrity? No, I'm. That's why I try to say, rich and and um, popular, because someone they didn't. Not someone. Some people they didn't born. Remember, not. They not don't someone he just some people some people were yes no more people before they became celebrity like celebrity celebrity celebrities okay one goldfish <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay and I think everyone everyone have to has. has to do their work a lot of people can make money from the celebrities that's why the celebrities can take money from other people also okay fine that's okay and then at the end just repeat say so i think so i think we shouldn't take money from the celebrity. From them. From them. Fine. Good. I think that makes sense. Uh, uh, taking money from people is a dangerous game. Uh, you end up with a lot of problems. Uh, it's not as simple as it sounds. Who's rich and who's not is a very difficult question. So I think you chose the easier one. Trying to argue that uh, taking people's money is, ver is very hard. Uh, you have to be really talented to justify that. Uh, that's difficult. So taking the easier side uh, is also a good strategy uh, in controversial questions. Next one. Smoking <laughs> should be banned. What do you think? Banned, like no. Yeah. Say no. Like drugs. Mm. Smoking added to the list of drugs. 
If you smoke a cigarette, you get arrested. What do you think? Get arrested. Like drugs, like if they catch you with, with heroin or something. Sm look, there's this person with a cigarette. Arrest them. What do you think? Okay. I think um, catch people who catch. Arrest. No, what do you say? Arresting. Arresting people who are smoking is um, to. I mean, too heavy. I mean, not heavy. Too hard. Too much. Too much. Mm -hmm. To do, just too much. It's too much mm -hmm. because the people, the people who smoke, mm -hmm. who are who, <laughs> who, who are. You say who, who? with your nose, because Thai people say who. One year but later, it's still who. who. Yeah, don't talk with your nose. Who, who, who? that's who? better. Who are smoking? Not bad. Are. Are not dangerous because they didn't kill, kill, kill other people or hurt other people too much. They can, like, by drug or drugs or criminal, criminals, they hurt other people, like, it's dangerous. They are dangerous. What about alcohol? People drunk drive, they kill people. Alcohol, people can kill other people also because... So you're saying no alcohol? I think alcohol is dangerous more than... Alcohol... is dangerous more than... cigarettes. So should we ban alcohol? <laughs> what do you think? Tequila, most, no more. Most if you're caught with tequila, world, you're arrested. You be, you get depressed, <laughs> depressed. <laughs> <laughs> right. But some people can kill, can kill people if they. Well, it's okay drink. because you are. You already said that suicide is is illegal. So if they get depressed, we can arrest them. <laughs> Don't worry. No. Okay. Okay. Alcohol. Alcohol. We need. We need um, control people by there. We need to control people who want to drink. Like they should have. They should uh, strong. They should be strong enough to drink. Like they should. Like older people. You mean age? Mm -hmm. No, no kids. Mm -hmm. Because kids, it's easy to lose their mind. D sound. Mind. Mind. Yeah. Mm. But smoking. When they, when people smoke too much, they won't lose their mind. Just they hurt themselves. Their minds. Just okay. They hurt themselves. Or well, but if you if you commit suicide, you're only hurting yourself. If you smoke and you and you get cancer, if, yeah. What's the difference? If some why people, can't why can't people commit suicide then? No, if I, I'm smoking and I get cancer in mm -hmm. six months and I die, what's the difference of me jumping off a bridge? Die quickly. And so it's the time. Yeah. Okay. So if you're saying if, if someone dies, want, want if I want drink. If I drink alcohol and I crash my car and I die within an hour, mm -hmm. what's the difference? Or if I if I jump in the river if with a rock, if you don't die, people, uh, police will ca will catch, catch you. you because you drink alcohol and you try to kill yourself. Yes, but I'm asking you: Is there a difference? The difference with smoking, right? not with between yes. smoking and drink. The difference. No, between between hurting yourself mm -hmm. and suicide. Hurting is there no problem? Because you said that the difference is, is that smokers are just hurting themselves and not other people. 
But if you commit when suicide, you drink, you're not hurting other people. When you drink and you ca catch, catch, <laughs> crash, crash. Oh, crash. Okay. You make trouble to add for yourself and other people. What and if there's no one else? I just run into a wall. Takes. <laughs> that place okay. is so you're saying. Government. So you're saying when someone jumps off of a bridge. And they land on your building, and it's a mess. That's the problem. It doesn't matter that they died. It's just the mess <laughs> that they left on the road. Well, I, I try okay. to tell you between smoking and drink. Okay. Smoking. So if I smoke and I get cancer, and then I go to the hospital, mm -hmm. and the doctor has to spend his time helping me mm -hmm. instead of people who are actually sick. But you sick. paid him. Yes, but he his time is taken. If I didn't smoke, I wouldn't have had that problem. They like to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to die. Yeah, okay. they want to die, but they, 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 they okay. try to die in for oh no, for four or five years. That's okay. Let it die. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So it's the time you're saying. I think because they think enough. To so, do so, so if someone walks up on top of the building mm -hmm. and says, "I'm gonna jump in three years," mm -hmm. that's okay. If they think for three years, I think that is okay. Okay, great. So legal but if I you believe, think about it for I time. I believe they will change their mind. They, they okay. will change their mind as they, they, their minds, mind. as they. Okay. Walking. Walking. Walking to the mountain. <laughs> Not the mountain. Probably you, unless it's a cliff, you probably can't die jumping down a mountain. But a cliff. In three years. <laughs> you could. But a mountain is just like. You, you probably will be okay. Okay. So Sipti says uh, if you go up on top of a building and you tell people you're going to jump next year, then that's okay. But if you, you say I'm jumping now, no. You can okay. sit there and wait. Okay. <laughs> Great. For one year. Okay, good. Next question. Are people too dependent on computers? Are people too, too dependent de on computers? That means dependent. we can't live without computers. Do you think that people are addicted mm. to the internet, their phones and computers. Do you think it's okay? Mm. Or do you think it is a disease, it's a problem? Mm. What do you think? This is hard. Uh oh. <laughs> Jumping off the building, that was easy. But the <laughs> the phone, difficult. Because right now many things change because electric. Oh. Electric? In the net. The. The. Yeah. Sipti and Russian people say internet, but <laughs> it's the internet. The internet. Mm -hmm. People should stuck with that or not. Stuck? Means that is bad or not. Addicted. Disease. Yeah, is it, like, is it a disease? Are they addicted? Addicted means... Like alcohol. Alcoholic. People addicted. Edit, Addicted. 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 Yes. They With can't it. stop to it. Or. What's that? Or no no you're you're addicted or you're not addicted. Oh. That's it. Yeah. Is it okay that people use their phones all day long? Is that okay? That's their choice. They're they're just spending their own time, or is it a problem? Do you think? I think it's a. I think it's a problem. Problem. Okay. Problem. So should we take away your phone? No. Okay. But people. But people should teach. 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 <laughs> English. People in their family. English. From the beginning. Okay. Like 
when some if I have kid, I will try. I would. I would try to teach them Tea. teach them to how to use internet. The the internet. At the right way. In. In the right way. What's the right way? WWW? <laughs> no, I mean, try to use them to help us to find, to find um, documents. Better cameras. Or how much time we should use it for one day later. So you're saying you have a kid and they say, Mom, I'm gonna use my phone all day long and you say no, no. just nine hours is okay. No. You're gonna say only three hours per day. Two hours. What's enough? What's too much? Depends on their age. Depends on their How much time do you spend on the phone? Mm. On the internet? Mm -hmm. Are you addicted to your phone? I think right now um a lot because in Is it a problem? No. Okay. Because, it's fun. Because I don't have other things to do in my room. Okay. But when I have activity to do, I won't touch it. Activities to do, I won't touch it. Okay, but we can't guarantee that you have activities. So then what if your kid says, well, mom, I'm, I want to use my phone and you say no. And they say, well, you didn't give me any activities to we do, so I'm going to play on it. Teach them to do other things. Like what? Like um, go up seeds. <laughs> grow, grow up seeds? No, no. <laughs> I don't know. Pupak. Let me garden. Okay. So you're saying that you're going to try to teach your kid we to should, make a garden. We should teach kids right now to, to learn all the things because all the things because because right now most kid most kids forget the old not the old not the the, the yeah. old activities because they, they're boring they, they thought no because they didn't know they don't know <laughs> they don't know and so remember your remember your cousin who you tried to teach English to? Let's say you have to take care of her. Mm -hmm. And she says, Auntie, I want to play on my phone. And you say, no, go outside and play in the garden. You can play. You think she's going to listen to you? She says, Mom, my friend, Auntie, my friends have phones. No. I need to talk with but them. But if I took, take care of her, for a long time, she will like her mom. She, she listen to her mom. And do I, you listen to your mom? Important thing. <laughs> right now, I'm go up already. I'm. I am, go. Not I'm, I'm old. I. I don't know. I'm. I am. Go. I am a grown up. I am a grown up. I thought you were gonna say I. M or I, I grew. I can't remember what I thought you were gonna say, but I I didn't I didn't think you were gonna say I'm grown up already. Right okay. now it too late to it. It's too. It's too late, late for Sipti. For me, but okay. we can. So when you were younger, remember, and you you ran away from your mom's building. Remember Easy you said. To teach kid. You you think that your mom. You call your, your mom calls you when you were 15 or 16 and she says, Sipti, you can't play on your phone, you can't go on the internet, you need to go play in the garden mm -hmm. and you're going to listen to her. 15? Yeah. 15. At that time, I don't, I, I, I spend time with garden more than internet because the internet not good like this time. We, we can't say not good. The internet. <laughs> not well. We don't use not. The internet. Isn't. Wasn't good. As good. Wasn't as good as now. Mm -hmm. 
So doesn't that mean it's harder? How are you going to convince a 15 year old kid to go play in the garden? Right now. Yeah. You think you could convince? Let's bring a kid. Well, I'll find a kid and you try to convince them <laughs> to, to put down their phone and to go play in the garden. I can. Do you think you could? I think I could. Okay. We'll try. <laughs> well, well, that will be the challenge for us to convince school kids after school, right? They worked. On their cl at their class all day long, they come home, mm. they're tired, and you're telling them go outside and carry the rocks around well, in the probably garden. Probably we should teach them them uh, less than that. I mean, young, younger than that, mm -hmm. because they will learn how to do other activities. Yeah. Uh, that's fine, but your argument is not very good. I have talked with thousands of, of parents and they told me, uh, many of them first time parents, and they told me, I asked them about these, these things, and they told me that the problem is it's not talking to the kid. The problem is, is that the kids have friends who have phones. Mm. And they said that it's almost impossible to convince them when their friends have phones that they shouldn't have one. Mm. So they said if their friends didn't have the phones, mm. it would be easy. They could it wouldn't be a problem. It's not a ball but they said friends. when their kids come home mm. and they try to say, hey, let's play in the garden, and they say, No, my friends have iPhones, mm. they don't listen. Mm. So uh, it's not gonna work because all the other kids have phones and unless you live in the forest you I'm won't be able to convince your kid to play in the garden. I will buy phone for my kid, but I will How old would you buy a phone for your kid at? Right now, I probably is, um, Three years old. Seven or eight. Seven or eight? Okay. They should have... iPhone 12? No, just okay. normal. What's normal? Normal phone to contract. Not contract. Contact. That's for a document to contact to call to call because so you're going to send your kid to school with one of those phones like I have with the buttons no. and the little screen this I big and their to, friend has an iPhone I will go give to their teacher and that is their teacher will give them after the school not the after the school after the class after the class because right now many things are dangerous like someone drinking can, someone can smoking no no mm -hmm. kidnap okay mm -hmm. they should have something to call someone so you think that you send your kid to school with one of those Nokia phones like I have, mm -hmm. with the buttons, mm -hmm. and their friends have iPhones, and you think they're seven, gonna, eight. you think that they're gonna come home, seven years and old. they're not gonna be angry at you. Seven years old, yeah. John. Yes, I will try to teach my kid. Most of them have iPads already. But if for study, it's good. Not I will for. to study. I will buy for it, for them. I will buy it for them, like not right them, now, for my kid. For the them them. Anyway. <laughs> but I don't know. Depends on depends on family. Uh, I have I have talked with so many people, and they I have talked about this. I with think I know. Listen, listen, listen. When to buy. I've talked with people about this a lot, for hundreds of hours, mm -hmm. and I can I can tell you. They used, to, they used to tell me all the time, they said, John, it's impossible to stop them because their friends have iPads and phones and if, if they don't have a phone, mm -hmm. they, get, they say that, that their friends laugh at them, that, mm -hmm. they're, that, they're, that they're an idiot or that they're, they're poor or that there's something wrong with them mm -hmm. and they cry mm -hmm. and they won't talk with their parents anymore. They say it's, it's impossible to stop them because their friends have them already. Because most people didn't didn't 
focus like didn't most people don't focus on what John's saying on the right no. the right thing the the okay Ooh. but I don't know what the right thing is I mean if we ha we know how to tell our kids um what their how much their age to use how night. much their age no I mean when they should have well nice phone nice phones and f they have that phone for what like for contact their friends to to their friends to contact to contact to their friends no to to contact their friends to contact but we don't we don't say contact to call to call right now people don't like to call they like to message yeah but not contact if we know how to tell our kids i think our kids will understand understand what understand why we give the old one when they was young and give not them what when they when they are young when they were when they were young so you're saying that if you are a good parent, if you're good at talking, then you can convince your kid. But if you're if you're a bad parent and you're stupid, that's why your your kids don't listen to you. It's because you're dumb. I didn't mean all the most parents are dumb, but I mean most parents are busy. Most parents are busy, okay. and they. Focus. They. They okay. are focused. Focused. At, on, their work and money, because they. They need, need to eat. They believe. Money can give good life to their kids. A. A kids. No, no. A. A good life to, their kids. Yes. Okay. But. The real, the, <laughs> but the okay. important thing, the, the important, the, the most important thing, is time between parents and kids. So you're saying they're they're too busy, and that's the problem. Mm. If they spent more time with their kids. And they said, "Listen, I'm going to sit here with you for three hours and tell I you why." I mean, I mean, try to be friend with their kids. What if their kids don't like them? No, I saw many family who many families who try to be friend with their kids. Most kids. Friends. Friends with their kids. Most kids um, believe them and tell them everything because they believe their parents are friends are their friends are their friends uh not friends but uh love them maybe adore them <sighs> anyway um uh you can try uh give sipti's idea a try uh, if your kids uh, want a phone, just try to be their friend <laughs> and tell them that, yeah, their friends have an iPad and an iPhone, but they're just going to have a Nokia phone uh, for if emergencies. That is important for study, I will buy, like right, right now, most students have, most students have to eat goldfish, study in their house. That we should buy for them. Them. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, give it a try. Uh, try to con use safety strategy uh, and convince your kids uh, to turn off their phones and go play in the garden. Uh, we have camping. some goldfish for safety to to try. Uh, tell us what you think as we One, finish two. the show. <laughs> Any questions for us? No. 
Thank you so much, Sipti. Uh, that was very good. You had a lot of good arguments. Uh, and a, a lot bit, of goldfish. A lot of goldfish also. But good arguments. Uh, you were opinionated, sticking to your details. Th some of them were very good. Uh, the argument about smoking w seemed good. The argument about the celebrities was good. The military service might get some people angry. Um, the suicide one made sense. That was that was logical. That that's what I would expect someone to say. Um, too dependent on computers turned into an argument with me and Sifti about uh, mm. phones. Uh, that's what happens. Usually when people talk about controversial things, they get into an argument and one person gets angry and says, I'm not going to talk with you anymore. Thankfully, uh, Sivti and I will, no, not, no way. Will, <laughs> will not be angry at each other after this because it wasn't real. Anyway, thank you so much, Sivti. You answered some great questions for our controversial topics. And next time, uh, stay tuned you because to give me. we have lots of easy questions coming up. On the on the list, any questions no. from Sibti? Great. So remember uh, Sibti's belief: uh, if you want to go up to the top of the building and jump quickly, then you should be arrested. But if you want to wait up there for a couple years, then that's okay. But make you sure you will die. <laughs> then that's okay. If not, you we'll get anyway. In trouble. Thank you so much, thank and you. see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.